Um, so what I'd like to do, you've, you've heard a little bit about Beyond Glass uh, already a couple times this morning. I'd like to share with you just a little bit about the story of how it came to be. Basically, uh, it, it all starts by having conversations with our customers, uh, in this case particularly in aerospace, and really trying to understand what their future needs were. And uh, without exception, they were all telling us they needed us to find a way to significantly improve their productivity in the machining of titanium, either as measured in tool life for some or metal removal rate for others uh, because of the ever-increasing amount of titanium that's going on airplanes. So we went back inside Metal, chartered a cross-functional team, equipped them with some of the latest tools in creative problem solving, finite element analysis, and advanced engineering approaches, and we charged them with taking a true systems approach to solving this problem not just focusing on the insert itself, but the whole machining process. And so to help you get into, into the heads of, of an engineer or a scientist, I want you to visualize with me for a moment what happens when you're actually machining a piece of metal. So uh, here's a mock-up of, of the Beyond Blast tool, but just consider it to be any insert, cutting insert for a moment. And you're gonna push that against the surface of a workpiece, right? When you're doing that, the workpiece gets compressed, this workpiece, and it starts to flow up the face of the tool, eventually coming off as a chip. Right? There are tremendous forces involved in that process. If you measure the, the, the pressures, for example, at the cutting edge, they can be anywhere from um, half a million to you know, upwards of a million PSI pressure. Right? A lot of heat being generated. Right? And that heat's all at the cutting edge and at the inside base of the chip. We're talking about temperatures ranging about 1,000 degrees C, or for those of you on the Fahrenheit system, about 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's incredibly hot. Right? Okay, so now you know where the heat is. Where's the coolant? Well, in traditional machining processes, if the heat's over here, the coolant's coming from outside the cutting zone in exactly the wrong place to put it. It's actually impinging on the back side of the chip, which is the coldest part of the chip. And in materials like titanium with low thermal conductivity, um, it could be a lot colder than the actual hot spot on the inside of the chip. Right? The other thing you're doing is you're pushing that chip back up against the cutting edge of the tool. So that was sort of the aha moment that our engineers and scientists had when they started thinking about it that way, that they actually needed to find a way to do something nobody had been able to do before. And that's get the coolant fluid directly <laughs> impinging on the hot spot of the chip and blasting the chip out of the cutting zone, not back into the cutting zone. And that solution is beyond blast, and it incorporates technology that we call precision cooling technology, or PCT. Right. The benefits, obviously, of getting that coolant now right onto the hot spot, as Carlos mentioned, much more efficient utilization of the coolant right, and blasting of the chip out of the cutting zone. Now, if it sounds easy, it's just because I'm describing it that way. In reality, it, it took a significant effort in design engineering, material science, trying to find the right materials to use, because we're taking 15% of the material out of the insert, yet we need to ensure it has mechanical integrity under those extreme forces and temperatures. Right. And then we also had to develop uh, new manufacturing technology in order to be able to make this insert in an effective uh, and efficient manner. But what about the benefits for our customers? Because that's where it really matters. How is this going to translate down to the shop floor? As Carlos mentioned, increase in tool life. Um, we're getting new data all the time, and we've got some data up to 400% improvement in tool life. Right. Metal removal rates, one measure or another measure of increasing productivity, 30 to 50% increase in metal removal rate. Very interestingly, we can, with Beyond Blast, achieve comparable performance using low-pressure coolant that standard inserts require high-pressure coolant to achieve, and that's phenomenal. And that can translate into much more simplified coolant delivery systems um, and possibly uh, foregoing the need for capital investment in high-pressure coolant systems. But of course, if you already have a high-pressure coolant system, using it with Beyond Blast, you'll get even better productivity and tool life than you're experiencing with your tools today. And then finally, improve chip control. It's very important to get chips cleared out of the cut so you're not recutting uh, chips in the process. It's bad for the surface of the workpiece, 
and it's uh, very bad for the life of the tool. And Beyond Blast, by, with its precision cooling technology, does effectively blast chips out of the cutting zone. Um, it, as Carlos mentioned, it, it truly is a design and engineering breakthrough. Um, there's been decades that have passed since the last breakthrough in metal cutting that's on par with this. Um, and to get there, it took a lot of people in Canon Metal working together cross-functionally across organizational lines. Many of them are here today, not all of them. Some are still back, back at the shop trying to come up with the next big innovation. Um, but we are you know, very proud to be bringing this to you today, and we really do consider it to be a, an excellent example of the different kind of thinking that takes place at Canon Metal. Now, as Carlos said, we've got lots of new uh, innovations to show you today uh, beyond or other than Beyond uh, Blast, and I would really encourage you to spend some time uh, in the booth uh, when we're finished here and meet with our product managers and our technical specialists, and they'd be happy to answer any questions you have at any level of detail about, about the products we have out there. And so with that, I'd like to bring the floor back over to Lori.